Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Genesis chapter 2 verse 10, Lamentations chapter 4 verse 16, and Ephesians chapter 4 verse 12. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you Father God for all of the love you show us, the provision you give us. We say thank you. We bless your holy name. We ask you to help us to be appreciative and continue to walk in your way and serve you and only you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Genesis chapter two, verse 10, a river flowed out of Eden to water the garden and there it divided and became four rivers. All right. And so this is just talking about, you know, the river that God created um, that flow from the river from the garden of Eden that flow to other places that cause those places to be, you know, just rich and full and, and full of of gold and onyx and bedulum and all of these things um that that came from the fact of the richness of the river right and so god caused that river to flow there knowing that you know man would sin he would fall and yet he made provision for them anyhow and so it says a river flowed out of eden to water the garden and there it divided and became four rivers all right. And so God is making provision for us. He has provided for us. And, you know, when God provides for us, he honors us. He blesses us. Right. So that's a great honor to be provided for by God. And, you know, God does not want us to take that for granted. He does not want us to to see it as something that is just, you know, every day willy nilly as if it's nothing. We need to bless his name. We need to thank him and we need to walk in his ways because it does does not have to be this way. He does not have to provide for us and yet he continues to bless us. He continues to keep us. Let's look at Lamentations chapter 4 verse 16. The Lord himself has scattered them. He will regard them no more. No honor was shown to the priest. No favor to the elders. All right, and we know that this is Lamentations. We know that this is during a, a great time of, of destruction. Babylon has come in and destroyed the area area taken people into bondage killed many people everyone's left destitute you know pillaged and it's just horrible right and it's come after great sin right after the priest and the prophets and the the people who should have been honoring god were only honoring them with his lip their lips but they were serving other gods they were serving men they were going after the things of the world and not after the things of god it says the lord himself has scattered them and so it was God's hand that did it, right? So the same God that had provided, the same God that had kept them, had allowed them to be scattered now, right? His hand was taken away from the gate, right? And and it wasn't for lack of trying because God has, has tried to provide. He has tried to honor them. He's tried to bless them, but they didn't want to keep covenant with God. They didn't want to stay in his ways. And so it says the Lord himself, has scattered them. He will regard them no more. So that means that, you know, when they're looking to him, when now they have turned back to him and they called out to him, he was not going to regard them until, you know, he had fulfilled um, this, this pouring out of wrath. It says no honor was shown to the priest, no favor to the elder. So there was a loss of favor, right? There was a loss of honor there. And we don't want to be on that side. We want to walk with God. We want to stay with God. We want to stay with the provision, right? We have to, we have to acknowledge the fact that it is God who is providing, not we ourselves. And we need to stick to that provision. We don't need to walk away, right? You, you know, um, if somebody is feeding you, why would you walk away, right? If somebody is blessing you, why would you walk away from that blessing unless the Lord told you to walk away, right? God blesses his children. He blesses his priests. He blesses his elders with favor and honor. But there is coming a time of a great dishonor for those who have not put their trust in the Lord, for those who have not honored God, for those who have not kept um, in his ways, right? Who have not made Jesus their Lord 
Lord and stayed as Lord, right? When someone lords over you, that, that's a way of living. That's a way of being. All right. It says to equip the saints for the ministry, the third verse, Ephesians chapter four, verse 12, to equip the saints for the work of the ministry, for building up the body of Christ, so who is it that's going to receive the provision, right? Who is the one who's going to receive the gifts and the blessings, right? That's talking about, you know, our gifts um, and, our, and our weaponry, the things that we have, all the blessings that God has blessed us with and the provision that he has provided for us. It wasn't just so we can look cute, right? It was to equip the saints for the work of the ministry, for building up the body of Christ, all that you have, all the gifts that you have, all the talents, all the blessing, all the honor that God has honored you with. It's so that you can build up the body of Christ. It's not for you, it's for him, right? When those priests and those prophets and those elders um, had, had not honored God, they weren't going for his cause. They weren't building up his kingdom. They hadn't remembered the spirit that was behind the law. They wanted to keep the law, but they also wanted to serve other gods and serve men and, and go after the things of men. And so we have to be very careful of that. The enemy is very deceptive, right? He, he wants us to think, oh, it's just a little of this. It's just a little of that. It's just a little, you know, uh, um, buying another this, buying another that, right? you we have to step back and realize are you serving this world or are you serving god right how many times are you going to decorate that house how many times are you going to buy a new car how many times are you going to update and improve here 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 and you just improved it last year right god wants us to put his ways first we should be equipping other saints we should be helping other believers. We should be using our gifts and talents to equip the saints for the work of the ministry, for building up the body of Christ. You have a gift, you have a talent. It's not just to make some money, right? You have a gift and a talent to serve God so that you can build up the body of Christ, right? We need to use it for his glory. And if we're not using it for his glory, what are we using it for? You need to watch out because you, you could get scattered that way. You could, you could have no regard shown to you that way, right? Remember that those four rivers that came from Eden, they, they caused a abundance to explode in those areas right that they were going to find gold right like it wasn't just regular gold it was like the good stuff right so if you want the good stuff in your life you need to honor God you need to regard God you need to make sure that you are keeping covenant with him and staying with him and letting him be the motivating factor and not you yourself you should not be at the center you living your best life right it's for god everything that we do should be for the lord amen all right you guys let's pray thank you father god for your word thank you for showing us you in your word lord god help us to see your spirit behind the law help us to follow after you wholly with our whole heart not just in word but in deed lord god Help us to always put others first and not ourselves. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. Take care and be blessed.